Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending November 20th, 2021. Uh, starting with some news about the manga magazine publication industry from which so much anime comes. The Japan Magazine Publishers Association released circulation figures for physical copies of magazines this week, revealing a continuing downward trend in the physical manga magazine world. Uh, in 2021, Weekly Shonen Jump dipped below, um, sorry. One point four million copies in weekly circulation. Uh, the first time the number has been that low since the early nineteen seventies. Wow. <laughs> yeah, at its peak in nineteen ninety four, the magazine was at more than six point five million copies. So that's a dip. Mm. Um, we've shown on Sunday also dropped below two hundred thousand for the first time in its recorded history. These updates may seem scary at first, but keep in mind. The magazines also release digitally through their own online platforms and apps, as well as through other big digital resellers. Right. Retailers, although these figures aren't made public the way physical publishing numbers are. The manga industry as a whole was still up last year, and physical volume sales hit a record high, even though a big chunk of that was Demon Slayer. Um, that's kind of the honest. But uh, yeah, it's. Um, I don't know that this is like surprising news, but it is interesting news. It is kind of remarkable news. That the physical sales have have dipped that low, um, you know. We, we know it was on the, the, the downward trend, but uh, I think a lot of folks were assuming that they would that physical and, and digital would kind of complement each other. That the folks right. who are physical would do one, but it doesn't seem that trend is is where it's going. I think it's going very digital. Well, as I say, I know just geez, this week the Black Friday sale mm -hmm. notices started going out, mm -hmm. and right. I have my old. <clears throat> little, you know, gas-powered, uh, you know, two-stroke uh, Kindle. And, uh, <laughs> and they sent me this entire spread of all the Kindle mm -hmm. Oasis and new paper with blah, 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 yeah. this, this, that, and other thing. And it's like, they're all, you know, obviously you go upscale and it gets more expensive, but yeah. it's for one device, I can save like several bookshelves worth of yeah, stuff yeah. it's it's mm -hmm. not the same as being able to physically touch yeah. stuff but it's like if i'm gonna read the living heck out of manga mm -hmm. doing it on a digital device is like the most space saving yeah. and convenient transport i can think of yeah well, well and you know it, sorry, go ahead. No, i was gonna say it, having something like buddha or akira or like some landmark right, physical copies right. you can't exchange right. but if i'm gonna reread that I would much rather have them like nice and not bent <laughs> yeah. on their shelf, mm. and then I'll reread it through my my e reader. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You know. Um, well, to that point, I think it's especially right. yeah. important for um, for this specifically, like the weekly uh, manga magazines, right, where people are clearly preferring digital for that because like you're reading an issue at a time. You know, yeah. you're 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 reading this every week as it's coming out. Going down to the store, getting that every single week, or getting it um, sent to you, whatever, way more convenient to just get that digitally on the go, keep up with that, you know, as, as life goes along, instead of trying to, you know, keep to that publication schedule. Well, I got to imagine, too, um, uh, you know, the, the plus side is you're not you know, harvesting out <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of junk yeah, trees true. or junk paper. Yeah. Mm. Um, and from a, a getting things to a publisher. Hmm. Like, I've got yeah. the Fox's Wedding. Which is a whole yokai compendium mm -hmm. that's that's coming. The Kickstarter right. campaign went great. Yep. They've got it like at the publisher. It's being run. You know what I mean? You've got different jobs that are going to the publisher. You've got different things, priorities that are going on. You have delays because of their supplies coming in because of COVID. All these things that go around that. It's like if you can shorten that up for a publisher to be like, hey. Uh, artist, manga guy, I need you to submit digitally mm -hmm. so that the editors can yeah. edit it digitally, mm -hmm. and then we're going to issue it digital. Right. Yep. No runners, no, mm -hmm. no, like you know, ink and paper and copy, none of that. Yeah. It's like, oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, maybe someday. And yeah. Urasawa is still um, on paper. Um, although he's learning digital, he said he's 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 starting to to figure that out. Um, but uh, a lot of a lot of the older manga are still entirely physical, and they they literally, you know. Do the runners, but yeah, I, I agree. I, I wonder if that's gonna that trend is gonna, gonna move in a digital direction. I'm just thinking of all the shonen jump that I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you know, when the apocalypse comes, I'll have kindling. So, yeah. yeah there we go. <laughs> You just need to be creative with it, Steve. Just layer it up, make it look like a couch, and throw like a, a throw nice. blanket over people. Be like, "Oh, nice couch!" Be like, "Don't sit on it." <laughs> it's all I'm on. It's not very comfortable, but it looks like a couch. Yeah. That's the important part. It's also good like sound deadening installation, right? So you can like set up <laughs> yep. your bookcase, you know, or in a van. Or in a van. There we go. Right. Yes. No weight issues there whatsoever. No. Um, and, and always something to read. Always something to read. Yeah. Might be the same thing to read, but still something yeah. true. <laughs> um, also this week, a new anime was announced this week based on Tukasa Oshima's classic shoot soccer manga. The first new anime in the franchise in 28 years, titled Shoot Goal to the Future. The show will be completely original and is set to air sometime, air sometime in 2022. It tells the meaning of a world-renowned soccer player who is a former captain um, at a high school team and a current student at the school who is uninterested in the now weekend soccer team, but presumably won't remain uninterested for long. Oh, um, wow. How unexpected. Well, exactly. Well, <laughs> we're go to the we're gonna go to the exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, Ruesha, uh, sorry, Shueisha revealed that the Slave of the Magic Capital's Elite Troops battle fantasy manga is inspiring a TV anime. The story is set in a world besieged by monsters where a particular tree is able to give special powers, but naturally only to girls, presumably cute girls, with powers and probably skimpy outfits. <sighs> um, well, the name like Slave of the Magic Capitals <laughs> Elite Troops? Oh, yeah. I, oh, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, a TV anime adaptation was also, also confirmed for the Monogatari manga this week. Um, it follows Hyoma, uh, who despises uh, Tsukumo... Ga- sorry... Tsukumogami sp- uh, spirits that have inhabited aged yeah. objects as you come to live with a girl who loves these and lives with them as family. Uh, TV anime is coming in April based on the Yaboi Kongming manga um, in which an accomplished uh, general of the Three Kingdoms, uh, Kongming, wishes on his deathbed to be reborn into a peaceful world and gets sent to the modern day party scene in Tokyo. Um, as a woman. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That seems to be how that would go. Pretty much. Isakai. Uh, reverse Isakai. Isakai. Um, Karachi revealed the, the cover image of next month's monthly afternoon magazine, which reached an announcement of an upcoming anime adaptation of the Skip and Loafer manga. Uh, the, the story follows a naive, diligent country girl as she starts high school in Tokyo and make, f- makes friends with a laid-back city boy. But will they fall in love? Um, we, we we and this is such a fresh new story. Exactly. They're yeah. they're from two different worlds. There's just how no this way. happen. I I can't imagine this. <laughs> I wonder if he's popular. <laughs> Wouldn't that be shocking? Shocking. <laughs> um, let me guess. She's she's plain looking until she takes her glasses. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. And then suddenly right. she's amazingly attractive. Impossible. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Mine Yoshizaki of Kimono Friends and Sergeant Frog is designing a short web anime titled oh. uh, Sore Sunawachi Sketch. Um, it's about two girls left behind on an island who pass the time by performing their favorite comedy sketches. So, that fits. Um, uh, and it's uh, going to base the sketches on uh, those originally performed by a real-life comedy duo named Folk Dance the Narukozaka. Uh, the first episode premiered on YouTube on Wednesday, so if you want to check that out, um, I'm sure it'll be very easy for Westerners to, to comprehend and parse. Yeah. <laughs> Is there at least a catch at the end of it? Like, if the comedy doesn't work out, one of them kills it and eats the other one? I don't know. <laughs> Anything? Does somebody have, somebody's got to have a big paper fan, aren't they? I'm uh, <laughs> sure, yes. I mean, required by law. Ah. Ah, ah. Um... If you missed your chance to stream the 2.5D stage plays from Live Viewing Japan earlier this year, your chance is coming back around soon with a couple of added options. Two Naruto stage plays, two Sailor Moon musicals, and the My Hero Academia Ultra stage play are coming to the excuse me, Globe Coding streaming service December 10th to February 3rd. Tickets available for four different two-week viewing periods. These streams will be available worldwide except for the Middle East, China, and North Korea and Russia. Um, it, with the, two, the newest two unavailable within Japan, so global only. 
Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so hmm. all of those great international streaming rights issues are clearly an issue there as well. <laughs> but at least you'll have some options. Was this one of those things where people in the forbidden countries will do that emulator thing where it's like, oh no, it looks like I'm in Canada. Uh, <laughs> and they'll watch it anyway. <laughs> <They're> like, uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, I don't think anyone will do that. No, that would never happen. That it never happened. That would be wrong. Especially especially not the My Hero Academy uh, Ultra Tap Dance stage. Right, right. exactly. Yeah, I mean, yes. everybody was going to need to see that one. We are Prince of Tennis. <laughs> That's all the news for this week. Thank you for watching and see you next week.